Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the series on micro front end. Today we are going to understand the types of micro front end exist. Based on the repository structure, we have two types of micro front end. One is called monorepo and second is called multi-repo. As the name is monorepo, it means we will have a single repository inside which we will have multiple projects or applications. In our case, say we are having one application called shell application inside which we are having a header code which we made as MFE. MFE stands for micro front end and this code or the application is hosted at server with port number 4300. Now this shell application should expose this code, this header code so that other application which will be known as host application can consume this header code. So we will have another application inside the same repository called host application and it is hosted at 4200 port. Now this host application will consume the code, basically the front end code that is getting exposed from the cell application and that code is nothing but header code in our case. So host application is displaying header which is coming from MFE that is micro front end and that is hosted on different server. So we are sharing front end code from one server to another server and this is what is called micro front end. But since we have both the application inside the same repo so it is known as monorepo concept. In some scenario we will not have both the application that is the shell application and the host application inside the same repo. And that's why we have another concept called multi-repo. In multi-repo, we will have two different repos or we will have more than two repos. Depends on the structure and the number of shell application and host application. In our case, to make it simple, we are having two repos. One is called repo1 and one is called repo2. In repo1, we will have our shell application and it is hosted on the same server with the same port 4300 inside which we are having the same header code which is which will be our MFE and this header code will be exposed from this shell application. Now this shell application will be used in the host application. So we are having another repository called repo2 and inside this we are having our host application which is hosted at port number 4200. So this host application will now consume this shell application that is this header code. So this header in the host application is coming from MFE that is micro front end which is hosted at 4300 port. So if we compare both the repo structure we will find that the behavior is not different it's the same right one one application called shell application hosted on one server and there is a host application hosted on another server and host application is consuming the shell application code the condition is only one that is shell application should expose their code so that host application can consume them but the only difference between the first and the second case is the number of repositories in the monorepo case we are having one repository and in the multi-repo case we can have multiple repositories in the next video we will set up a basic project in angular and we will deal with all the scenarios of micro front end in the monorepo case. Once we will be done with all the scenarios, then we will do the same scenario in multi-repo case by creating different repositories. This is it for this video. If you have any query, then please let me know in the comment. If you like this video, then please press the like button. And to not miss the notification of the next video, kindly subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Also, please share with your friends so that they can also be benefited. Thank you.